100 is on simplifying decimal numbers. And oh. yay, 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 we made it to 100. That's my smiley face. Okay, now, if I had 2.01, and I wanted to compare that, we kind of just did this, 2.010. What do you think? It's the same. It is exactly the same. Now, something that I do whenever I'm comparing decimal numbers is I line them up vertically. So watch what I do. 2.01 and 2.010. You see how you can see that easier when you line it up going vertically? Okay? So I could easily see that I can add several zeros at the end. Okay? And it's all going to equal the same because this is the value. These are called terminal zeros. They don't really matter. Why do we have zeros in the world then? <laughs> well, they they help. They're still a number. Okay? Now, what if I put a zero here? It's, same. Same. it's still the same. I can have a hundred of these. Okay? Okay, now, why is this zero important then? Because, <gasps> because it's before the number. Because, yes. It's still part of that number before it ends. Okay? So you can't just disregard this zero. It matters. Okay? The rest of these are terminal zeros. They're at the end or at the beginning. Okay? All right, good stuff. Now, it says Otis, what a name, yeah. Otis added 3.75 and 2.75. He added those and found that the sum was 6.50. Okay, well, let's check him first of all. 5 plus 5 is 10. 7 plus 7, 14, 15. Yep, these are three and three, six. Now, they tell me to now simplify. Is it improper? Okay, no, because this is not fractions. So, what could simplify mean in this problem? <gasps> maybe like um, make it like a different, like just make it look different, but make it okay. Simple. Yes. Um, put the smaller number in front of like more than the. Okay, what problem. were we just talking about? Right before I showed you this problem. Um, oh, I know. How, how, oh. It doesn't matter how many oh. zeros. Oh. Okay, so if we you simplify take away the this, zero. I could take away that zero, and it really doesn't matter. Is that how you simplify? That's how you would simplify it. So the answer would be 6.5 on this one. We're not talking about money. This is not money. Okay? If it was money, I would have put a money sign. Yeah. I'm and we would that need now. that zero. We don't actually still need it, but money makes more sense because it's on two points. Or two places at the end. That's easy. Okay, so try this one. Here's what it tells me to do. Attach a zero to the end of five without changing the value of that number. They're wanting me to attach a zero to the end of five without changing its value. How do you do that? I know how. Oh, we put a point before the five. Very good. And then I would put a zero. Does that still the same value as this? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, isn't that cool? I don't know if I would have figured that one out, honestly. I'd been like, what is he talking about? She did. Um, yeah, great job. Okay, okay. so it said attach a zero to the end of five without changing the value. I and question. you did it just right, good job. Yes. So like, if, there, if you're simplifying something that has a zero before two, can you? You can erase that as well. Okay. Yep. Unless it's in the in, in the middle. Yeah, like not there, you but like that. If you put a zero in front of the one. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this said five five if zero. It's not connecting something. Well, you can take this one off and this one off. Because this is not connecting. That would be simplifying the decimal number. It kind of reminds me of like linking verbs because then it's like linking the numbers I together. I see. Kinda. Yeah. That's right. Okay. That's it, guys. We do our lesson practice. Yes, we've um we've got about I can stay up here about ten more minutes if I'm you need to. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna what, Dara? I'm gonna see if I have quartz. <laughs> what? See if she has quartz. Yes, I do. What do you want to buy, Dara? Oh no, at the um place that I have it there is um like uh candy things and I can or they'll give me a soda and candy. Thing. Oh, I meant to ask y'all, how many of y'all study before your test? I try to. I sometimes I do. Okay, it's very important that you do. Okay? And um, it's actually kind of required 
Um, that's why I have um, yeah, on your I syllabus, study. parents, make study. sure your pa your child is studied. Yeah, at first, like for the first like three tests, I didn't study, but then I started studying. Yes, because it starts getting more and more and more and more. You have to try to hold more in your brain. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of hard. So, I encourage y'all um, to not only study, but also go back and check it. Okay? Um, I let's... try to, but it just gets kind of annoying if you're... Yeah, well here's the thing. Math is not a subject that you should try to hurry up and get done with. It just doesn't work that way. You're going to make more errors trying to hurry than you would if you were just taking your time and you would actually save time because you were taking your time and it wouldn't make as many errors. Miss Potter? Yeah. Um, when, like, when, I have like, a question like, what, what do you need to know? Like, why would you need to learn Science and things like that that you don't use every day. Well, you you use math every day. Yeah, math is a, kind of a core subject. Now, when you get up into calculus and things like that, you're not going to need to know all that. But so why it's good to have things? an overall because it grows your brain. Every time you learn something new, it grows it, and so that anything that you encounter, even if it has nothing to do with science, anything that you face in the day, you're able to deal with it because you're under. You have a greater understanding. I don't know if that makes sense or not. But yeah. here's what I want to say to y'all. Please do not skip checking your math. Okay? If I was taking a science test. Yeah, my mom tells me to go, like, once I've done it, do, yes, it, all do it, over, it all over again. All over again. You're exactly right. Okay? Because well, you'll check. I, normally don't. I know that takes longer, but in the long run, you're going to get a better grade. And you won't have to do as many tests. Yeah, right? my life is really you know, complicated. Like the test, the, and especially on school, but I have to do my school because I have other stuff going on. Um, like, mm -hmm. I always have dance every single day, and so I have no time to ever do my school. It's awful. Mm -hmm. It's awful. Wow. Um, when are you getting done? Like, in the middle, I do like, it when like, there's like four the questions about like. Yeah, yeah that's what I do. Sometimes I don't check those. But I, my, check I, I get it done with my, all my stuff for like 10 Well, why don't you see if my decimal is I mean, y'all see, yeah. see me in class um, sometimes. Oh my gosh. What, are what is it? Oh, it's just race for education. Oh. Oh, um, our report card? And your report card, because you weren't here on Thursday, yes. No, I got my report card then. No, the report cards are with our parents. Okay, <laughs> that's right. Okay, so listen. I got um, my report card. If I was taking a science yeah. test. <laughs> oh. If I was yeah. taking a science test, okay, and I asked you, what is up in the sky that shines brightly? Sky. Sun. You're either going to know that Stars. or you're not going to know it. So it's not as important that you check your answers in science because you either know the answer to that question or you don't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not like that kind of stuff. It's like, why do you need to learn about him? <laughs> right, but in but well, in um, math, some animal you want to know if it's poisonous or something. That's true. Right? It was just like walking up to you, you want to know if it's dangerous. Oh, stink! I didn't turn that off. Oh, whoa!